In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure which posts show up in your activity feed. So to get where I'm at, you're going to go to Buddy Boss Settings and click on Activity. And then we can see the first set of options is about the kind of posts that are automatically coming from Buddy Boss platform. For example, if a member changes their profile photo or updates their profile details, etc., it's going to automatically post this in the activity feed. So let's just try profile details. I'm going to go and edit my profile. And I'll change my name to Michael. Let's go back to the newsfeed. Michael update his profile. So let's turn this option off. And let's do it again. So I'll go back to Mike, let's say. I go to the news feed. And this is the one that was from before. It didn't post a new one. So we're able to turn them on and off. Old items will still remain, but new ones will not get posted if you have it turned off. Moving on, we're going to go to blog posts. So if this is unchecked, then when you create a new blog post, it will not show in the activity feed. If I do enable it, then they will show in the activity feed. So we can go to posts, add new, and I'll just call this test blog post. And let's add some content. And then we can go set a featured image and publish it. Now when we go to our news feed, we have a blog post and it pulls in the featured image and the description too if those are added. So then we can see we have an option allow activity stream commenting on blog post forum discussions and topics. So you can see here that this is a blog post that doesn't let me comment on it. What we can do is check that. And now when I refresh it, I can leave a comment on it. So that's going to leave a comment on this blog post. And then I can click to view the blog post. And we can see that the comment I left on the activity feed is on the post itself. So those comments are kind of in sync 